Okay, hello folks. Today I'm going to be trying something uh, I was reading about on one of the Dodge Ram forums. So I figured, uh, yeah, better safe than sorry. It had to do with uh, having some damage to your condenser from, say, a flying rock or something like that on the on the road. So I'm going to be doing two things, because it's uh, you can do them at the same time, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to be putting in the condenser guard, which is this big black thing you see there, which is that guy. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It comes with uh, two zip ties and a, and a uh, piece of fly screen, basically, that goes over that. And uh, to do put this in, we have to take off the grill. Since I'm going to do that, I'm going to put on Gino's grill release kit, which is supposed to make uh, taking the grease off the grease, the grill off, much easier. So we got these two guys we're going to mess with today. Um, I think these are extremely simple, not going to be very hard at all, but if you're like me, I like looking at things and seeing how they're done before I dive into them. So uh, let's get started and see how we get. Okay, to uh, take off this, which is kind of heavy-duty cover, there's four things you take off. One here, one here, one there. And one there now according to the directions you need to keep two of those so I'm not sure what happens to the other one I haven't read the directions that far yet let's see what we get a few years back I bought one of these boogers they're pretty handy for uh, taking off these things in fact they're designed for it so you just make get yourself under there and then wiggle it up And that's one that just snapped off. So we'll have to see how this uh, how this goes here. Well, that wasn't the most pleasant of things. They're uh, they're not the easiest things to get out. There's uh, well, once they're loose, this just lifts off. But the thing is, is as they come off, all the pieces on top tend to tend to jam on the bottom, and the bottom just does not want to come out. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and replace all of them, regardless. All right, so let's see what the directions want me to do now. Oh, and I apologize for the going back between the sun and the shade. It's just the nature of the beast here. It's about 104 here in Southern California today, so it's warm. Okay, so we got to take uh, this bolt out. These are all 10 millimeter. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. And uh, they all just uh, come right out. This is much easier to do with uh, one, two hands, so just a second. Okay, the next thing uh, we're going to do is take off the, the grill. Once you get those four bolts out, screws, it's pretty much loose. But it's held on by these clips. You can see one of them uh, right down there. And to get this off, the <clears throat> best way to do it is stick your hand down there like this, kind of, and then just start pushing out, and it'll, it'll just pop out. And uh, once it pops out, you just open it like a door. It's the best way to do it anyway. Okay, and there you have it. Um, no busted clips. Everything looks fine. And uh, what these are hanging on to is this right here. So you got to kind of get your hand in. I actually did it from this side. You can do it from either one. Got my hand right in here and just started pushing, and it just popped right out from there. You can kind of see a little wear there. But uh, let's see what's next on the, the hit parade here for my directions. Oop, did all that. And time to install drill guard. So, pull up slightly on the air conditioning line in order to slip the condenser guard over the top edge. All right, well, let's see how that, how that works. Okay, well, we know where this goes. It does come with a uh, like a screen, fly screen kind of stuff, and it goes right over the front of your intercooler, or your condenser, sorry, which is right there. It's the air, it's the air conditioner condenser, sorry. But the intercooler and the radiator and stuff like that is uh, kind of back there as well, and it'll all be protected. Now what you do, adjust, 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 you lift up on this guy, just a piece of plastic here, and behind that you're going to see a 
part of your air conditioner right here and that plugs in over there but you're going to push up on that and the uh, top of this top of this is going to clip right over the edge of it now the fly screen just holds in there uh, for force of gravity so let me see if I can uh, get you set up so you can see how I put it in Okay, as you can see, that fit in there pretty good. What I did is I folded it up and around so it, this screen was hanging on real good. It actually sits in there pretty good. What I did have to do, I'm not sure if this is uh, focusing very well or not. There it goes. Is you have to kind of tug it from here to pull it down because it sort of wants to bunch up. Okay, the uh, the last thing to do here is to get a one of the zip ties and it's going to go through here you're going to go through your uh, condenser and zip tie it around that's going to take more than one hand so I'll be back in a second well wouldn't you know it but the zip tie is the hardest damn thing about this whole thing hopefully uh, it's so bright out here I can't really tell if you can see what I wound up having to do, it's right here. You're supposed to go through the the condenser, but I didn't do that. I went through a clip down here, and all you do is just tight, get it fed through there, tighten that down, and it's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to go on to the uh, quick release. And the first uh, steps are all the same. you got to take the grill off, so you have to take those ten, or those four, um, uh, clips off and then four 10 millimeter screws and then pull your grill out. Now the first step unique to this is the metal clip down here <clears throat> that we had to struggle with a little tiny bit anyway. These uh, the directions say to discard. It says okay you can dis you can mangle them up you can do anything you want to with them they're not going to be used again so let me see if I can get that off of here. If I knew how this clip got on here in the first place, it would be a lot easier to take off. Just snapped off. So that was a bit more exciting than I intended it to be. Yeah, there's a clip 
clip up there. All right, well, the next thing to do is uh, we're going to be drilling this hole out. Directions say to use a quarter inch drill to drill all the way through to the bottom, including the uh, plastic underneath. And that's, uh, that's because these holes are too small for the fittings that are now about to go into them. So, let me see if I can find somewhere for you to sit. And this is the outer two. So there's uh, one further inside, there's actually, but there's one on the outside here and one on the outside there. You need to drill those guys out. Okay, that's drilled out. Let's see what we do now. Okay, grill goes back on. I think I have to drill this top out as well, but we'll see. Okay. Now we put the cowl back in place. Supposed to use the two push pins that you salvaged. So that's in place. There we go. Okay, now we drop these into the hole. This was supposed to be on here, so let's see if that did anything. I kind of got ahead of myself here. I'm supposed to put this on the grill before you drill those holes out. And yeah, sure enough, that made a difference. Doing the same thing to the opposite side. I think that's supposed to go there, but I'm not positive about that. With the grill and the heavy duty cowl in place. Nope, that's where it says to put it. Drop pins and outpost holes A and B. Yep. Okay, so let's make sure you can see what we're doing here. All right, we're all right. So this used to be a, a 10 millimeter screw. You're gonna leave that out. This used, to, this used to be one of the plastic push yahoos. Now you have two screws that are included. Let me grab those. It seems to suggest uh, to put the hole in right there. It says quarter panel sheet metal, but uh, they don't quite reach, so let's put it right here and see how we do. Self tapping. Nothing in there. Sure doesn't look like it's going to hold very well, but let's see. Chinos generally knows what they're doing, huh? Well, there's one thing for sure, these things ought to be a little bit longer. Can't go into that. That's just not a good place. But, yeah. After this is in place, you can pull your grill.
take all of about 30 seconds to pull your grill off. Okay, well, that's wrapped up and done. Hope it helps somebody out if, it, uh, if you wind up doing this.